streets gonna always be fucked. Yeah. 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 Let's go out the Holly yeah. Grove. Okay. Now put the Mac on the map if you won't get on. Now put the spitter on the map if you won't get on. Now put the pole on the map if you won't get on. Say put the feet on the map if you won't get on. Say put E I on the map if you won't get on. K put the Drew on the map if you won't get on. Say put the Mark on the map if you won't get on. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a good looking rapper. I ain't trying to stunt. What's up, Scorpio? Welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys. So we're going to pull up some messages and we're going to see what it is that spirit wants you to know. If you find that some resonate, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you are interested in a personal, my information, you guys, will be in the description box below. I had mentioned early in the, in the other video, and I'll probably mention it for a little while because I'm just trying to see if anyone, you guys, I'm thinking about teaching a tarot class, okay, how to read tarot. So if anyone would be interested in that class, please let me know in the comment section. You can email me however you want to let me know. But I'm trying to get a, some numbers together and see how I'm going to put this together, okay? All right. So we have Scorpio. Life is an expression of you. Life is more than existing, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, you're just existing. You're not living. You're not happy. You're not enjoying life here, okay? And the, and the life that you live, like, this is an expression. This is, this is an example of you. So it's like if you're just existing, you're just waking up every day, going through a routine. You know what I'm saying? I got to get up, get my coffee, go to work, do this. Like, you're just existing. But if you're living life each and every day and you're fully happy, you're showing gratitude for waking up each morning, you know, you never know what curveball or what life is going to throw your way but i feel like some of you are just kind of going through the motions when it comes to life like you're really not happy you're really not experiencing you're really not fulfilled right now okay but everything is as you created so if you've been kind of living this mundane life or just doing the same routine and not feeling fulfilled and this is why you know things is the way it is you know but i feel like if you're trying to live life to the fullest and you're taking on these lessons and even though these challenges can be hard but you're you know looking to these things for god and so to help you to move forward then you know life is going to offer you some things i feel like all you create offers you lessons in life so everything that we create is going to offer a lesson whether that be less that lesson be good or bad here okay but with this red it gives me a lot of like root chakra you know i feel like as you become more safe and secure within yourself then you start living you know when you're not really sure of yourself you're not really sure of your future you're not really sure of what you're doing here and you're living in this energy of uncertainty thank you spirit when you're living in this energy of uncertainty it's kind of like you're just existing you know what i'm saying you're just existing in the world you're just existing here but when you know like all right i know things may not be the way I want it to, but I know in the future things are going to look better. Like when you can think that way, then that's when you're going to be able to take these lessons and make something out of it. You won't take everything as being like, oh, the universe whooped my ass or I must have did something wrong. No, Scorpio, a lot of things we go through, life to me is a big ass lesson, but it's what you take out of that lesson, okay? A lot of our lessons, hell, you're that harsh because Scorpio, a lot of us are hard headed, a lot of us are stubborn, a lot of us want to be in control of things and that's not how she works so it's like until we learn to let go of those things then no we're not going to be happy you're not going to be fulfilled some of us have been put on some type of new path here with this four plus three this is seven so you could be doing a lot of reflecting a lot of thinking especially during this libra season here okay this represents our 12th house which is the subconscious okay so you may be in your mind you may be thinking a lot but you have to know that all is going to work out for you Spirit didn't put you on this path. It was never set up for us to fail. We only going to fail, Scorpio, if we don't try. We only going to fail, Scorpio, if we say they can try to control everything and understand that we are not in control. But that little bit that they give us to control, work on that shit, okay? Because you are a bright energy here, okay? You could be seeing lots of sevens. Be seeing seven, 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 seven a lot. You are a bright energy, Scorpio. Some of you guys have been wearing bright colors. You know, purples, green, orange, yellows. If you have not, start wearing these colors because these things will uplift you. If you don't feel happy, Scorpio, if you feel a little down in the dumps or whatever, I'm telling you, man, colors really do uplift you, especially bright colors, yellows and oranges and of those natures here, okay? All right, so let's pull a few messages. Let's see what it is 
that we need to know. Messages for my beautiful, damn. <laughs> Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio. I thought all that up. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpio. What do they need to know? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? All right, so Scorpio, someone here was wearing a mask, okay? So I feel like for some of you guys, you may have fell in love with potential. Because someone here, they was pretending to be that man. They was pretending to be that woman. They was pretending to be that person that you need them to be. But they knew real damn well, Scorpio. They could not feel them shoes, okay? So someone here was pretending to be. I feel like that person that you wanted them to be. You know, and you fell in love with that potential. She's like, oh, I mean, this person can go far. We can do this and do that. Until you start to see like, shit now. Now, how this person go from being everything I thought they was to now you start to see someone true colors here. So I feel like for some of you, you were dealing with someone who wore a great mask, okay? They they were very good at masking these things, but they also were very good at pretending. And they pretended to be, some of y'all had to talk with this person, you told them I want this and I want that. And this person was like, I bet I can be that. And they pretended to be, you know what I'm saying? This is a great actor or actress, okay? Give them their flowers, Scorpio, because they pretended to be that person that you want them to be, but they can feel them shoes, okay? Someone here feels empty without you. So this definitely lets me know that you walked away from a person or a situation. And I feel like for some of you, you could have been dealing with someone who was draining your energy. You know, this don't have to be a relationship. This could be family members, friends. But for someone here to feel empty without you, that means Scorpio, they will use a lot of your energy to make them feel good and to feel them here, okay? So now that you have pulled your energy back, now they drain. Now they feel empty. Now they feel depleted without you, okay? Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. What does Scorpio need to know? I love you, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? All right, for some of you guys, finances could be a problem with this person, okay? So someone here, maybe they finance not looking good, Scorpio. Your finances may be a problem right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all take it how it resonates. So maybe someone here doesn't feel like they can come towards you or anything because you know, finances are a problem, but they do want to work things out. So someone here wants to work things out with you right now, Scorpio, but they, they can have some financial issues, okay? Maybe this is someone who, you know, they don't want to come to you with an empty pocket. Like, this is someone who wants to give, and they want to be like a provider and help you in those things. But how are they going to do that, Scorpio, with their money and stuff ain't looking good here, okay? Let's get a couple of more. Messages for Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, somebody feels like you deserve better than them. So maybe because of these finances, like someone here feels, I feel like someone here like want to provide and take care of you. But because their finances are a problem, like maybe they feel like, you know, they can't be this person. Or this could be this person that was wearing a mask, okay? Maybe they realize, like, damn, man, I was up here playing with Scorpio, pretending to be this and pretending to be that. And, man, they really better off without me because I really can't live up. You know what I'm saying? This person can't feel them shoes, Scorpio. They did a lot of pretending, but when it comes down to it, this person just can't feel them shoes, okay? Let's pull a couple of more. All right, messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know? All right, we got, I just want to have fun with you, okay? So someone here wants to come in and maybe, like, they want to play, like, be in this childlike energy, you know what I'm saying? And just, I don't know. What, what you mean you just want to have fun? So somebody don't want something serious here? Okay, something can happen within the next few months. Okay. So there could be some type of changes or something that takes place. But someone here is staying away from you, Scorpio, because the last thing they want to do is hurt you. And it's this person right here that did all this pretending. So for some of you, someone here could have ghosted you. You know, all of a sudden you stopped hearing from this person. And it was because this person knew they was playing with you, Scorpio. They knew they couldn't live up to those expectations. They knew they couldn't live up to their role. For some of you, this person even could have pretended to be your masculine or, or feminine here. You know, trying to be that person. But it was like, shit, they, they wasn't. They was never fit to play that role. Okay, I went ahead and pulled some more messages here, okay? So for some of you, this person maybe just want to have some fun. So I feel like this could be someone that's maybe not looking for something serious. And maybe they just don't want things to be so intense. Because y'all know, Scorpio, we as tense as fuck. Okay, and so this person may just want to play, you know, just have some fun. Something can happen within the next few months. Okay, we have intensity. The feelings I have for you overwhelm me. 
So I ran away to process them. Okay. So I ran, I ran away. I run away. So I run away. To, that don't make no damn sense. I, I think they should have said, so I ran away to process them. So someone here like that feelings for you, Scorpio, it overwhelms them. Like when they think about you in an emotional way, in a loving way, like they get overwhelmed by these feelings and emotions, but they need time to process this. Okay. Someone here has never felt these waves of emotions before. So like they need time to process. It. Okay. This isn't about you, Scorpio. Someone here could be working through a personal problem. So this gives me the energy of someone who possibly could have ghosted you or, you know, you just haven't heard from this person or you just stop hearing from them, period. And it's because they're trying to work through some type of personal issues. Okay. We got clingy. Feeling trapped pushes me away. Please give me some space. So some of you could be very clingy or some of you guys, remember I said someone here was like draining your energy. So someone here could have been very clingy to you. And maybe you needed some space from this person. You know, like, damn, they was taking up all and sucking up all your damn energy. All right, somebody wants to go on a little special rendezvous, Scorpio, and they want to see you. But I feel like this person just want to have some fun. You know, it'd be like in this light-hearted or carefree energy. Like, you know, this doesn't give me the energy of someone who want to talk about, you know, some, some real-life things. But they just want to have some fun. You know, this could open the door for a conversation, but... And this doesn't give me the energy of someone who just want to out the, jump out the bed and have this conversation, right? You've been thinking about me because I've been thinking about you and we are connecting, okay? So someone here feels your energy. Or you can be feeling this person's energy. I'll take it how it resonates. If all of a sudden you start thinking about this person and you weren't doing nothing to think about them, you know, beforehand, it's because they're thinking about you. You know what I'm saying? My twin told me this other day. He was like, you been thinking about me? Because I showed up and thinking about your ass. I was like, no, not really. <laughs> then we also have time. I know the clock is ticking for us. Won't you wait for me? So someone here could feel like they're running out of time. You know, they know that like they got to get some shit together within a certain amount of time or something of their nature. But they feel like, man, I'm running out of time here. So... This could be the energy of someone that's trying to work through like some personal issues or whatever it is that they have going on. But they may just need just a little bit more time, Scorpio, before they're able to come in and give you what it is that you need here. OK. All right, you guys. So let's see who this reading is about. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, let's see what's going to happen within the next few months. Messages for Scorpio. Because some of y'all could be going on this little rendezvous. OK, somebody here can want to see you. You know our birthday season is coming up, okay? Somebody can want to see you for your birthday, you know? So let's clarify within the next few months, within a few months here. So what is going to happen for Scorpio within the next few months? Just give me a couple of cards. What's going to happen, Holy Spirit, in this connection within the next few months? Mm. Next few months, Holy Spirit? Yeah, it's on... Okay, within the next few months, some of y'all could be dealing with someone who's trying to manipulate or emotionally manipulate you. And you can be releasing this person. Like, you're going to see this person was pretending to be someone else. They could have been pretending to be this king of cups, someone who knew what they wanted in a relationship, someone who, who was going to offer you and give you this cup of love and, you know, all this type of things. But they did a whole lot of pretending. I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to see that this person really is this king of cups in reverse, okay? And they've been doing things to manipulate you and play off your emotions. Now, for some of you, you may have to walk away or you're being called because you're experiencing some type of internal turmoil. Like something here ain't allowing you to sleep. Something ain't giving you peace because you you know. I feel like deep down, and you you know this person was pretending. You know that you weren't dealing with the real them, okay? And I feel like this person wasn't honest with you about something, okay? With this justice in reverse. Either someone here lied or they just didn't tell the truth about something here okay and this could have been why this person ran you know we got somebody here who was dealing with a personal issue so this could have been why this person you know walked away or ran from this connection because they had some personal things that they had to deal with we got libra gemini and we got and we got pisces aquarius with this king of cups okay all right so who is this reading about for scorpio we got heavy gemini aquarius aries Pisces, Virgo, Sash, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Aries, and Pisces. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.